brands, reach out to 200 brands because I think it's easy to reach out to 20 brands and say, oh, no one responded, so this isn't going to work. But it's it's a numbers game. So reach out to 200 before you say it's, it's not going to work. Welcome back to the podcast where we explore the creator economy and how you can succeed in it. Uh, our guest today is a co-founder of Influence Socials, a TikTok marketing agency that produces high converting video ads for brands. Kyla Glenn Denning, how are you? I am doing fantastic. I am so glad. And we've been, we've already been talking and we kind of know each other uh, partially because we work alongside each other at Creatorland and you actually edit this podcast. So before this even <laughs> kicks off, it, do you want me to handle the editing? Are you okay with listening to your own voice after this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know when we get there. Just maybe oh, not. I know how um, uh, painful it is to edit my own <laughs> stuff sometimes. So uh, le- let me help you out if I can. But Kyla, pumped today to talk to you about UGC content. You, you're you a co-founder of a TikTok marketing agency, Influence Socials. Do you want to talk to us creators, creative professionals about what that is, just so we can get a bit of context into who you are? Yes, absolutely. So essentially for the past year, my everyday life has been focused on researching the top performing TikTok ads and writing scripts and working with UGC creators to create really high converting TikTok ads for our clients, which are brands in all sorts of niches. So so as a creative wanting to then work with a brand or wants to build their UGC portfolio, and before we even, I maybe even go into that, Usually UGC for new listeners and creator landers, creators, what is it like at its simplest form? Can you explain that? Yeah. So UGC it just stands for user generated content. And the difference between a UGC creator and an influencer is an influencer is getting paid for their audience. They're getting paid to share a product with their audience. A UGC creator is getting paid to create video or photo content for a brand that will only be used on the brand's paid ads and the brand's socials. Beautiful. So your advice then for creators looking to get into UGC, grab your phone. If you're passionate about creating, start creating some, can you, can you create some basically product videos? Let's say here are my car keys, make a video about what a UGC video, just as like a, a portfolio video. To pick and include that with your pitches to to brands, like as a part of what past work you've done. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll give some tips for what to include in your videos because sure. there are so many new brand new UGC creators who send me their portfolio, and there's a lot of things that I look at, and most of them we don't hire because they don't have a few things. Number one is having their face in the videos. A lot of times you'll just see like people unboxing the product. And then I'll have a music overlay, which doesn't, isn't really selling anything. Mm. So having your face and like personality in the videos is huge. Number two, having your voice and talking voice overlay something. Cause a lot of times I'll have a voiceover that I need and I'll go to a creator's portfolio and there are no videos with their voice in it. It's all just music overlay. Mm. So as a creator, if I was listening to this podcast, I'd be thinking, wow, this, this all sounds great, but I don't know, where do I start reaching out to brands for collaborations? Because I feel like the DMs on Instagram and TikTok just would probably be flooded with thousands of messages all the time. Mm-hmm. How do I get a brand to notice me and actually reply to me? Mm, great question. So first of all, email I found is the best. The response rate for UGC on email is really high compared to a lot of other things, which is awesome. So in terms of finding brands, just look everywhere. I've gone through hashtags on Instagram. So if you want to work with skincare, search hashtag skincare brand, and you'll find all sorts of brands walking through Target, take pictures of the products, get those names, plug them into LinkedIn, figure out who's in the marketing department, and then email them. It's, it's a lot of work up front, but you can also purchase email lists online of just 
niched companies, I recommend doing that. But emailing and then what to include in the email is be so concise. Hi, my name is this. I'm a UGC creator. I create video content that you can use in your paid social media or in your organic socials. Here are examples of my work, link portfolio. If you're interested, I'd love to offer you a discounted rate on your first video. And that's it. And so what about the subject line? How do you, because we know as a creator, the video hook is what hooks people's attention. Otherwise, if they scroll, I found that with email. Should we talk UGC opportunity or paid partnership opportunity? What is going to come across as non-confrontational, but also exciting for them to click the email in the first place? I'll just tell you exactly what I do. I say, I would love to create content for insert brand explanation point. And it works really well. So we've covered the email. We've covered how to find the brands for creators, your your new creators that want to start with UGC. So it's find a couple of brands you like, build a little portfolio. Even if you haven't been paid, if nobody's reaching out to you, that's fine. Go and find them. Build yourself a couple of just, what, 30 second videos a minute. What's the ideal length just to start with? Yeah, anywhere from 15 to 50 seconds. Perfect. Build, Build that out. Mm -hmm. one or two videos so you've got a little bit of a portfolio practice script writing and and putting and and adding your hooks and your then find your brands reach out to them via email potentially by buying the email list or stalking their socials and then from there it's just rinse and repeat yeah another tip i'd give is to pick a niche that you're passionate about and create your content within that Mm. because When somebody sees that you're not just a UGC creator, you're a UGC creator who specializes in the brand that I have, that's going to give you a lot more authority in the space. Mm. And what do you see out? Is there any other big mistakes, like the biggest mistake a a new UGC or current UGC creators are making outside of not putting Mm. their faces in and having no music or voiceovers? I think having really high expectations for pay right when they're starting. Mm. I've had, I've seen that a lot or I'll see like Facebook threads where a brand new UGC creator who's never had a deal before gets offered say $50 for a video. And everyone says, no, don't take that. That's way too low. But the truth is when you're just starting out, the relationships, the opportunities to build relationships with brands and get your portfolio started are priceless so i'd say don't be picky when you're starting out i love that and that should be all across everything that yes a new creator should take on board i I think with everything like creating content don't be so hard on yourself but also expectations need to be managed right if you get paid 50 bucks you get paid 50 bucks that's 50 in your account for creating a video that you would otherwise just go and post on your social media and hope it gets 200 views or breaks through to a thousand, you get to create a video the same way with a little bit more thought and effort that gets you paid. That's all, that's all we want. And then build up from there. So build your portfolio at the start. It doesn't matter what the price is. When, how many videos under your belt do you actually, do you increase your price per video as you get more confident with your experience? When when should you start to move towards a sort of a high rate, hundred, two hundred dollars for the video? Like, how do they creators figure that out? Because that's a navigation in itself of what's my worth. How it much is. am I actually? Uh, should I owe this or be owed for this video? And does that come down to, well, how is this your niche? How well do you know the niche? Uh, like, can you shed some light on that? Yeah, I'd say you'll notice number one when you start getting a lot of clients, when your clients start coming back to you, and you'll notice your improvement over time, when you start creating content, it's going to suck. It's going to look really bad. And you're just going to have to keep doing it until it gets better. And you'll notice when it starts to get better. And when brands start replying to your outreach email is saying, wow, this is really good content, we'd love to hire you. And you'll start getting booked out where you'll have to raise your rates to lose some clients and keep the higher quality ones. 
So what's your biggest, biggest piece of advice for new creators looking to make content creation a primary gig for them or even a side hustle where they can make some money before we wrap this episode up? Uh, first thing is practice, practice, practice making content with just things that you have mm. around your house. Uh, second is to put the best content that includes your face and your voice in a portfolio. And the third is reach out to 200 brands because I think it's easy to reach out to 20 brands and say, oh, no one responded. So this isn't going to work, but it's it's a numbers game. So reach out to 200 before you say it's, it's not going to work. Fantastic. And the creator <laughs> economy, one year from now, where do you see it? At what's happening? What's exciting? How are content creators, especially UGC creators, looked at in the industry? I'd say it's a lot like YouTube. You know, when YouTube first started, anyone could be a YouTube channel youtuber and grow a channel i think mm. like youtube it's going to get a lot more competitive and quality is going to go up for the people who are going to stay in the industry and those who don't keep working towards higher quality and being really creative and outside the box are going to not be so successful in it so just evolving right yeah creators will need to improvise adapt learn Keep going. Yeah. And then in 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 the five year landscape, you think that UGC will be solidified as a genuine way to make a full time income as a content creator. And both brands will respect creators and also new creators won't just look at ad revenue and affiliate links as the only way to make money, but also UGC as well. Oh yeah. UGC is gonna be so big, I think it's gonna be their own positions at companies. That's exciting, especially for creators who maybe want to transition into that more professional role. It's still a role inside the creator economy. It's still a role being a creator and you're working with other creators, leveraging your experience. So it's almost like all the work you do now, maybe you don't see yourself doing UGC forever, but you can then eventually go and help other creators like you do yourself, um, Kyla, and, and brands as well, create content. So there's like so many opportunities that UGC is going to bring for the creator economy. Definitely. Yeah, thank you. Well, Kyla, this has been an absolute pleasure and apologies for the editing that you're going to have to do on this video. <laughs> I would like to say that you probably won't have to do much, but I know we're going to cut these things down, but this was a phenomenal conversation about UGC. You've taught me a fair few things as well. And I know that it's going to sharpen my teeth and I hope to the creators creator professionals creator landers listening to this that you got some value about our conversation with ugc content and if you would love to ask more questions you can connect with both of us kyla and myself on creator land just go check out our profiles in the description below which is the best professional networking platform for creators and if you have any more questions you can just shoot us a dm there we will be more than happy to help you because we want to see creators succeed in the industry doing the thing that they love which is creating content so kyla thank you so much for your time awesome thank you